I'm Bob Morielli with the Tuning School and today we're going to talk about credits with your HP Tuners unit. Number one, how many credits comes with the unit? Comes with eight credits. Now, eight credits is enough to license four vehicles. And what that really tells you is that we normally see two credits needed per vehicle. On some rare occasions, if you do a, uh, like a brand new vehicle, you might find that it requires four credits. But for the most part, two credits per vehicle is how it works. So how do we know how many credits we actually have left? It's a pretty common question. We get a lot of tech support calls on that. So what we're going to do is walk you through the actual steps. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hook up your HP Tuners unit with your USB cable to your laptop. You don't actually have to be connected to a car or anything, just to the laptop. Once you've done that, you can open up your editor software that we're going to show you here, or you can use your scanner. It does not really matter. Uh, go on up to the help screen and then go to license info. Now once you're here, the software only knows what it uh, connected with last time. It hasn't been refreshed uh, in some time in our case. Now in order to get the most uh, up-to-date information on how many licenses or credits you actually have, that information is not stored on the laptop or in the software. It's stored actually on the MPVI Pro unit. So it has to be connected to do this. So what we're going to do is click on the upper left corner on the little HP icon. Now it's going to tell the software to go ahead and connect up to the hardware and come back and tell us exactly what we have credit wise. And what you can do is scroll all the way down and you'll see at the very bottom where it says credits purchased and it's in the column format. So GM, and here's your purchase number, how many of that you've used and then how many available you have. And in our case, we have no credits. So if we need to buy some, we'll go ahead and show you how to do that next. Alright, so now that we know that we have no actual credits left available on our unit and we have a car coming in that we want to tune soon, we're going to go ahead and teach you how to go ahead and buy some. So the first step is going to be to head on over to the Tuning School's website. Go to thetuningschool.com and now we have on our homepage here, there's a link for buy credits. Now our website might change in the future and you may have to go through a products link or something, but you will find the buy credits uh, link on the website. And so once you do that, you'll be able to see you can buy GM or Ford credits credits and then you're just going to click on the buy now button. Now this has brought us to the actual order form. At this point we get to pick how many credits do we want. Now we know each vehicle requires two credits so let's go ahead and put two in our quantity field there. And you'll notice it's not going to update until we actually click the uh, recalculate button at the bottom, but we're not going to do that yet. We've got a couple more things to do. Uh, we're going to click the little drop down box that says please select. And in our case, we're from the United States. We're going to hit that. Uh, next, we're going to hit the actual state we're from. The most important part of this field uh, is the actual serial number box. We need you to get that number off the back of your MPVI Pro unit so that you can actually get your credits for your unit because they will only work on your unit. So go ahead into that box and we'll type in, we're just going to type in a number. They're typically about 10 digits long. And so we're going to enter our serial number in here. Fictitious number, good. All right, and then we'll go on down and we'll hit recalculate. And so now the website's come up and it tells me my new total is this. I have my credits uh, ready to be purchased. I'm going to scroll on down and I'm going to go to payments. Now at this point, we don't need to walk any further because you would be able to go through and pay with PayPal or your favorite credit card or whatever you'd like to do. Okay, now that we have ordered our credits, we need the next couple steps to actually put them into our unit. So the first thing we're gonna do is check our email because credits actually come through the email straight from the tuning school to your uh, email that you have on file here. So uh, in our case here, we've got our uh, new credits have arrived and we see here we have a new application key. Now the application key is, is a long and complicated one, so we always recommend you just highlight it by left clicking and dragging and then we right click and copy. And now we're going to go on over to our editor. Now you can use the scanner, but in our case, we already had the editor open. So we're going to go up to the update application key link right where we were. And we have the old application key here. We just right click and we're going to go to paste. And then we're going to click OK. 
Now, here's what's happened. The software has a new application key entered into it. However, it doesn't really go active until it talks to the hardware again, which is the next time you connect to your vehicle, or you can do it right now if you want to click the little HP logo on the upper left corner again. It will then go tell your hardware, your MPVI Pro unit, that you have purchased more credits and that you have them available. Now, those credits will not be stored on the laptop. They're actually stored on the hardware, which is good for you because that means that wherever you go, all you have to do is take your hardware with you and you can use basically any laptop. As long as you enter your application key with your serial number and they match, it'll work just fine. Okay, so credit questions for the enthusiasts. Usually the phone calls we get from enthusiasts are, how do I tune my car over and over again? Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is buy the credits needed, which is usually two, license them for your vehicle when you connect. And in fact, we'll show you right now, if you have your actual software open, go on and uh, download your tune file from your car. Once you've downloaded the tune file, it's going to come up and it's going to say, hey, you've never licensed this before. What do you want to do with this car? So you click the show license options button. Now, since you're all connected with your hardware and your HP tuners, it's going to talk to your laptop and it's going to say, hey, you have X amount of credits available. How do you want to use them? And so this is the point where you get to decide. Now, as an enthusiast, you're usually going to pick single vehicle license, which means you're going to just use two credits to license one vehicle, which is usually yours or maybe your buddies. So you would click the single vehicle license and then click commit. Now, uh, we're going to move on now and talk about the actual shop owners. All right, shop owners, we're talking to you for just a minute. Now, shop owners usually buy credits in packs, usually of uh, six or 12, depending on what model year they're going to want to unlock. So for our example, we're gonna pick um, a 2004 GTO. Let's just say you're a shop and you know that that's a car that you frequently get. Now, instead of buying two credits every time one of those walks in the door, rolls in the door, excuse me, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna buy the model year. It's much cheaper. So let's go to HP Tuner's website. We'll go to hptuners.com and then we're going to click on the shop online button and we're going to scroll down until we see the supported vehicles lists and now we're going to go down so we find Pontiac and then the 2004 GTO just for our example here Now that we've found it, we can look over to the right and we see the single vehicle credit license is two. Obviously it's two per vehicle or for one time only, you can purchase six credits and use it to unlock the entire 2004 GTO model year, which means once you buy those six credits, you can then apply them the next time you license a 2004 GTO and then they will be forever uh, free. Basically they're not gonna require any more credits from you for 2000 for GTOs. So what we're going to do here is we're going to flip on over to the actual editor and let's assume that you've bought six credits in this instance and we've emailed them to you and then you've got your application key and you've copied and you are pasted and now you're all ready to go. You're at your car. You have a 2004 GTO sitting in front of you and now we're going to go ahead and uh, download the tune from the car and we get this message and it says, hey, you've never tuned this car before. It's an unlicensed car. What do you want to do? So we click show license options. And now if we had enough credits to unlock the entire model year, uh, it would actually show up as an option, uh, the third one down, which says year model license that we could click on. Now in our case, we don't actually have six credits available, so uh, it will not let us do it. Uh, now you'll also notice on the right column there, it tells you the actual number of credits required to uh, unlock a whole model year. So you may actually not need all six. You may only need, in our case, five. And the reason for this is every time you make a purchase of two credits towards that model year, a little bit goes towards unlocking it. But it is much cheaper and much quicker if you just bought all six up front and went ahead and unlocked the whole model year. So you would then hit commit for model year and then the next time a 2004 GTO rolled into your shop, you would not have any licensing requirements whatsoever.